What's good, Black Sauce Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jared. Today we're gonna to be doing a video review of Pink Book Lessons about <sighs> Tiffany Henyard. This crazy broad is. Oh my God. Let let's let's just share the video, share the screen, and just just watch this hunk of shit. Excuse of a damn mayor. Cause I'm about to go in. The city girl mayor is still on the loose on the streets of Thornton Township. I recently broke the news from the special meeting held by the Dalton trustees, where it was revealed that the village is almost $7 million in the red since Teflon Tiff's takeover two years ago. Not only is she blowing money fast in Dalton, but she's also running up a check in the township of Thorn, Illinois, where she's the supervisor. I mean, there's so many other ways we could have spent that money. Uh, that would have, you know, directly help people. Thornton Township trustee Chris Gonzalez says the board never signed off on the spending for those billboards, which he says is happening way too often under Henyard's watch. You're supposed to have some say over how funds are spent for the township, right? Yes. Is that happening now? Um, no, as far as I'm concerned, it's not. Um, you know, things, you even when you do question, when I question things, um, you don't get responses, you don't get answers. I don't know, maybe she thinks she's Big Meech. I think I'm Big Meech. Huh? Larry Hoover. <laughs> Even when you do question, when I question things, um, you don't get responses, you don't get answers. Sounds familiar? Yes, the city girl mayor is doing the same thing in Thornton that she's been doing in Dalton. She's spending money without getting any authorization from the board of trustees. And when they ask about the spending, she's ignoring them. What? Whatever, I do what I want. And now she's violating state election laws by promoting her face and likeness on campaign style billboards using taxpayers' money. In the words of Fred G. Sanford, you big dummy. This bro. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You you got it. You are so ego driven to where your ass got to have a damn billboard with your name plastered in big ass bold letters because your ego is so so is so big. Yeah, damn. <laughs> on top of that, and on top of this bullshit, this chick got the goddamn FBI looking at her, looking at her ass. Black women, let me explain something to y'all. This is one of y'all creations. This woman's ego is so big. If she could put her name, Tiffany Henyard, in on the fucking moon, she would do it. If she could laser engrave a damn laser, a, a laser engrave her name on the fucking moon, she would. This is y'all person. This is y'all people's using taxpayer money to damn <laughs> fuck that. Uh, let's go. It's a waste of taxpayers' money and totally a violation of the election laws by promoting herself using uh, using taxpayer funds. Somebody get this man the Grinch suit. We're going to get into that and I'm going to show you how her incompetence caused taxpayers to pay even more money on these billboards. But first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into it. But would you advise one of your candidates to do something like that using taxpayer funds? No, not using taxpayer funds. Okay, so if you've driven one of the expressways in the south suburbs recently, you've no doubt seen one of these giant billboards. They feature the name and the face of a smiling local politician. What you may not know is the money for these billboards is coming out of taxpayers' pockets, and that's raising questions for Tiffany Henyard, the Dalton mayor and Thornton Township supervisor who has already come under fire for spending public money promoting herself. Dane Placco has the latest chapter in his ongoing investigation into Henyard's questionable spending. Take a drive to the south suburbs and you can't miss them. Four giant billboards featuring Tiffany Henyard's name in large letters, along with her picture, smiling down on the thousands of cars going by on Interstate 57 and the Bishop Ford Expressway. 
What are they advertising? One says... I feel like playing a game of goddamn GPTA now. Just running a damn card through... <laughs> Just feel like GTA... <laughs> Run a goddamn, just, like just have a big ass ramp running right through that son bitch. <laughs> and that's what I feel like I want to do to this goddamn billboard right now. <laughs> just for the fucking hell of it. Like I just want to just, just right fucking here, just vroom, beep. <laughs> it's something stupid. Like seriously, Tiffany A. Henyard. Big ass bold letters. Thornton Township Supervisor. Bitch, we heard you say that multiple times, in fact. Fresh produce. What what the fuck is that? What what are you doing? Available at our food pantry. Ma'am, are you literally said you could have said come to the Thornton Township the Thornton Township Fresh Pro uh food pantry for fresh produce. In case you need help or some shit like that. Have big ass bold letters. Her big ass name. Big ass name. Big ass title. Fresh produce. What the hell that's supposed to mean? Does it mean we need fresh produce? Or that means come get some fresh produce. Available at our food pantry. Okay, cool. Committed to committed to care. Committed to community. Committed to you. And small ass letters committed to care, committed to community, and committed to you. Yeah. Thornton. Thornton and um, Dalton. Y'all got something on your hands. You've got a crazed, deranged lunatic on your hands. I feel for you. I feel for you. This broad and lost her damn mind. Fresh produce, another senior services, and this one simply says, we offer general assistance. What do you look at that? Everybody below in the comments, please tell me, what's the first thing you see on this billboard? And I'll give you another one. How about the second? What's the second thing you noticed here on the billboard? Oh, 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 pink book, pink book. I got it, I got it. I'm raising my damn hand, Casey, because my damn camera's fucked up. I, I, I can tell you, right here, right here, is A, her big ass name. <laughs> a, it's her big ass name. And B, it's, it's, it's the phone number. Wait, no, it's not the phone number. No, it's Thornton Township Supervisor, you dumb bitch. Let me know below. There's a phone number, but you wouldn't know what it's for unless you can read in teeny tiny letters Thornton Township Supervisor as you're speeding by. These are the billboards that have gone up along the expressways. We showed the billboards to Bert Odelson, an election attorney who's been working in Illinois politics for 50 years. When I first looked at it, I thought, what is she running for now? Jim Carrey, come get your brother. Wait, no. No, Mr. Burt Olson, please, no. Take this crazed, deranged lunatic down, please. Well, we thank you. Well, she's already the super city girl mayor, and now she's trying to promote herself as the most powerful woman in the Southland of Chicago. She's trying to show her dominance of the area on the interstate as people travel to and from work. That's why when you look on the sign, the first thing you're going to see is her name. Look at it. Out of all the words on the billboard, her name is the largest, about 10 times bigger than one of the smallest lines on the advertisement, which should be the biggest thing highlighted. That's Thornton Township, not Tiffany Tahoe. And then after her name, the next thing you may notice here is her picture. Have the nerve to be sitting up there like she's promoting the release of the Carter Six. Tiffany Tahoe, you- Nah. Like she about to release the damn, like she about to release the damn remix or the remake of the damn Jeffersons. That's what she look like. With that, str <laughs> with that struggle ass weave. Take that shit off, bitch. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I 
are pointing at you and you to the side. <laughs> Free! You <laughs> know you should be ashamed of yourself. Because that's what it shouts out. Odelson, who represents a political faction opposed to Henyard and Dalton, says it's clear the billboards are promoting more than township services. He says they're essentially campaign ads. Uh, this is a blatant attempt to promote herself politically. Uh, the township should not have paid for these if they if they did, and I'm sure they did. They did indeed. Bills obtained by Fox 32 under open records laws shows Thornton Township paid more than $10,000 for the vinyl signs themselves and more than $12,000 to clear channel outdoor advertising for one month's rental of the billboards. This is absolutely ridiculous. Over $10,000 for the production, and then she's paying monthly rental fees of at least $12,000. 250 and this started back around June. So since then, the township paid for an additional six months of billboards. That's over $22,000 in initial fees, along with an additional $73,500 because she's still renting these four billboards on the highway. That would mean the city girl mayor spent nearly $96,000 on these four billboards alone. Yes. Almost $100,000 on just four billboards promoting herself. Her name. That is a level of guy. That's a level of ego I have yet to be seen. Y'all think I got a big ass ego? <laughs> no, this woman got one. This woman is literally trying to plaster her damn ugly mug on a goddamn freeway. Four of them. Four free, uh, freeway. Um. Um. Billboards at that. In fact, hold up. Is that another? Never mind. Ain't another one. I'm about to say, damn, she got them bitches down close by. She wants you to see Thornton Township Supervisor. She thinks she's sound official with that shit. Bitch, you are the supervisor of Thornton Township. What the fuck is that? Ma'am, you work for the public and you won't be treating the public like they your servants. <laughs> your ass is about to be out that bitch like white on rice. You don't even know. <laughs> That's why you spent the taxpayer's money. Cause you ain't cause you know you your ass is about to get up out of there quick. <laughs> One term mayor. Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany A. Henyard got voted out on Tuesday. February, oh, no, Tuesday, December, what is it, hold up, Tuesday, December 19th, that's when your ass got voted out, when you fucking put these big ass, no more stuff with your name, yeah. <laughs> she go, she go get walked up by that bitch with handcuffs, I didn't do it, she would say, I ain't do it, release me. I'm the township supervisor, not today. <laughs> Name of her face, but she's not using her own money or her campaign money. She's using the taxpayer's money. Pink book, she ain't got no taxpayer. She ain't got no goddamn campaign funds. She about to get gone. What's your reaction when you saw him? I, well, first of all, I didn't know anything about him. Thornton Township trustee Chris Gonzalez says the board was never consulted about the billboards, which he says needed their approval. Kind of the, some of the first things that popped in my mind is, what are we doing? Um, we're not, this isn't a big sale. We're not selling cars here. I mean, if it's informational, then it should be informational. I mean, there's so many other ways we could have spent that money um, that would have, you know, directly helped people. This isn't the first time Henyard has used taxpayer dollars to burnish her own personal image. In fact, on other occasions, she spent a lot more. Hey guys, this is Super Mayor to me. Earlier this year, Fox 32 showed you how Henyard spent tens of thousands of dollars using employees and vehicles from the township and from Dalton, where she also serves as mayor, for a week-long walk to Springfield to promote her self-named cancer charity, which is yet to file required reporting. And you can't turn your head in Dalton or Thornton Township without seeing Henyard's picture or name. It's on all the government-owned vehicles, buildings, even on the rugs in the township where we've... God damn, this bitch got an ego problem. <laughs> you got it on the government vehicle. You, you got it on the government vehicle. The carpet. 
plastered on all the billboards and um and posters all over the city, bitch. You want to see your face every goddamn where. You got a township, uh, uh, going township board calendar with your face on it. I don't want to see your ugly mug in this goddamn raggedy ass wig. I don't. I'm sorry. You found a Tiffany Henyard 2024 calendar featuring all the important dates to remember, including her birthday. Way, way. <laughs> She got her birthday marked on that bitch. <laughs> oh, God damn. Y'all voted this trash shit. I'm done with y'all Negroes. I'm done. This, this, is a, uh, this is an insane level of fuckery at this point. This lady made her own political jet calendar. A picture of herself on every month and include her own birthday. All of this is considered campaign material that she should be paying the bill for, but instead she's swiping the Thornton Township credit cards and signing checks. I would be having a fit if she was my client telling her not to do this. Veteran Chicago political consultant Delmarie Cobb says there would be nothing wrong if Henyard were using her own political funds for those promotional materials, especially the billboards. I actually had a candidate years ago who was running for mayor of Dalton, and that's what we did. We bought uh, billboards along the expressway because if you're coming and going home all day, and one of the things I always say about billboards is they're working when you're asleep. In 2011, state lawmakers passed a law banning the practice of politicians putting their names on publicly funded signs, spurred by these tollway signs featuring former Governor Rob Lagojevich. That law does not extend to mayors or other elected officials, but election attorney Odelson believes the billboards do violate state election laws. It's a crime. Yeah, you're, you're using public funds for something that uh, taxpayer dollars shouldn't shouldn't uh, be used for. And just when you think you've seen it all, take a look at this. When the first billboard went up last summer, Thornton was misspelled as Thornton. Another sign had to be ordered, apparently at taxpayer expense. And then she's so incompetent, she's costing taxpayers even more money on something they shouldn't be paying for anyway. So yes, I'm convinced that she's spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on billboards and other marketing material promoting herself. Remember her old chief of staff who told us she was spending money like crazy and putting her face and name over everything? Um, but yeah, that's the type of stuff. They do spend money like water, just being real. And anywhere I go, guess what? I bring a bag back. Also, the snow removal pro She said she bring a bag back. Bitch, you bring a bill back. You are the bill. Fuck out of here. Damn, your ego is fucking strong. <laughs> Fuck that program. You notice they said you had to put a sign in the window. Yeah, she just wanted you to have her name in the window because it's campaigning, and that justify her sending it through the board to have them pay for it because it's campaigning. Because she can't have them do a campaign sign and say do it, so she gonna call it a snow removal program. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. So far, Henyard has not responded to any of our questions about the billboards. Of course, she's not going to respond to you. She says she'll do what she want to do. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. And that she didn't have time for little people. I'm also the supervisor of Thorn Township. So Boy, she looks slow. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Heard this goddamn wig is starting to aggravate the shit out of me. So when do I have time for little people? Why don't they beneath me? They beneath me. Not only is the mayor spending six figures on these four billboards, that's only in half a year. So you already know she's been spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on billboards and other marketing material. She's spending hundreds of thousands on security, and those guys are still stealing time. Remember security. I, well, never mind. I see why she needs security. She needs security from 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 the people whooping her ass. And that's why she needs security. <laughs> she needs security from getting that ass tapped. <laughs> yeah, and that's the reason why she needs security.
<laughs> they better watch they back. Remember that one who worked over 300 hours in two weeks? Thousands she stole from these taxpayers and running money through the nonprofit that's supposed to be for breast cancer patients. Yeah, the organization that's now inactive because they didn't file the yearly report. None of that money helped patients. The only patient it helped was Tiffany Tahoe and all her co-defendants. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know. The conversation started, Pink Book. <laughs> that is a guarantee. Ma'am, you are out of pocket and out of line. And this is why people don't trust black people with money. This woman stole hundreds of thousands to even put to point to point to seven million dollars. All for herself. She think that she got an open line of credit to do what the hell she want to do. Boy, <laughs> boy, I tell you what. When it come down to this shit, oh my God. She going to jail. She is going to jail. And you did it to yourself, girl. You did it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you did it to your damn self. Jesus. Hey, all I'm going to tell you is this. Um, Ma'am, you did that to yourself. FBI is looking into your ass right now. I hope you got an excuse and an explanation for the FBI because they about to come knocking on your door at any moment in time. Anyways, like, share, subscribe to the channel, support the podcast on spotify.com. I'll see you guys on the flip side, and I'll see you guys later. Good night, guys.